Hello, everybody, defense here, and welcome. Oh, I don't have any rockets. I just went to fly. <laughs> welcome back to Miraheim. I thought we'd start off today's video by showing you guys a bit of what we worked on in the previous uh, stream, which was on Friday. If you guys want to catch me there, it is twitch.tv slash defense 041. Should be linked in the description, but that is enough with the plugs. We played around with some armor stands. Uh, the guards are kind of basic. I didn't really end up doing much with them, but the guys down here on the docks... Uh, have started to kind of have some form put to them. I ran out of stuff over here, so these guys aren't finished. I do have to build a cow farm to get more leather armor. But you'll see almost everybody's got some form of motion, and then these guys over here are all unloading this ship, which I thought was really fun. Again, I didn't do anything brutally crazy, but everyone's getting some work done. And I did enjoy it. So if you guys do want to swing by for that, as I said, Friday evenings over on Twitch. And uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for different things we could do with the armor stands. You know, you come and grab some fireworks. And now we're going to get on with today's episode. <laughs> I like flying with the rockets. I don't know why. It's just it's always been so fun. But yeah, today we're going to be using these two boxes, this one and this one, to build up a new villager breeder. So if you guys watched pretty early on in the series, I had a villager breeder. And I could keep this one working. I could fix this and reset everybody, but I'm not going to. I'm going to move it because this tower was actually initially built to go around this. That's why it's so big. <laughs> but I've decided I don't want to do that. So what we are going to do instead is uh, we're going to build it. If you follow this dirt path here in the basement of this tower. And we're going to build a completely different one. And this one, honestly, is very, very easy. So get some boxes down let's get some dirt going because why not that'll be the easier place to start and what we have to do is we're gonna come one two three four five actually should I no this will be fine this will be a fine height so one two three four and then gonna go like this so as I said this is a very easy design you can pretty much find tutorials for this everywhere um, everyone's got their own special spin on it uh, this is pretty much just me throwing blocks at it. Oh, I just noticed I am going to lose a corner. Can I see that on the other Do it is, yep, okay. So that has to stay. We're not going to worry about that. Let me grab that. Losing two blocks isn't going to make a huge difference. There's uh, 91 total block spaces in this farm. Uh, no, sorry, 81 because it's 9 by 9. Uh, my brain can count, I promise. <laughs> so, uh, you lose one for the water spot there, which brings us to 80, 79, 78. So, it's honestly not bad. I'm not worried about it at all. Losing those couple of spaces because this is, it's just going to work. You know, there's not really an issue with it. Uh, you know what I did not bring? Something to plant. I'll have to check that in a moment but I'm gonna get this started we can get this done and I'm gonna uh, throw the wall the walls up before I bring the villagers in obviously because that's a bit smarter they can't run away but I don't plan on getting them out of the minecart right away it's gonna look nice but another thing we're gonna be doing with this farm is I need mob heads so if you guys saw all the um, all the armor stands out here have villager heads just in case you didn't see, I'll bring you back out. And there's different ones. You know, all of the different professions plus the unemployeds all have different heads. And I want to have a variety of different heads to use on the villagers. So what we're going to do is directly in the middle, I'm going to put a water source. And it's going to lead off this way and off this way. And then the villagers can only drop through here, here, and here. Which, from my testing, gave me about a 50-50 split. Uh, half the villagers went one way and half the villagers went the other So it'll uh, as I said come out pretty close. I don't need it to be exact. I could honestly care less if it is It's not really an issue. I just need villagers for trading and villagers for well, Slaughtering and beheading uh, <laughs> I thought we'd just get that out of the way. Why not? You know and it's gonna be fine. I don't see any issues with it working? Uh, we do have some villagers up top. I think they're far enough away where they won't affect this. But there is always the chance that they could. 
two. Yep. All right. So what we have to do is we actually have to fill in this corner and this corner because these are my drop areas. We're going to have the villager, the babies drop into here. And what I need for that is two things. One, um, slabs, which I did not put in here. It's the only thing I forgot aside from the uh, plantable veg. Check. Do I have slabs? Nope, that's glass. Yeah, we'll just use these. And I don't th think I have any over here. They might be in the storage system down below. No, we got some potatoes. Let's do potatoes then. Uh, yep. I did not have but any others in there. But yeah, this will be nice to have because I am going to play around with, uh, you know, I, I just forgot one other thing. <laughs> we are going to play around with getting the villagers to lower prices. And I think that that system is a bit broken. Um, so I am only going to be turning the villagers into zombies once each. As I said, I feel that system is a bit broken for the fact that you can just infinitely do it until everything costs one. So I won't be doing that. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying I don't do it. So hope that is understandable and you guys are fine with it. But we are going to end up infecting villagers and healing them. But I do not have a setup for that currently. So I'm going to, uh, that's part of what we're going to do. This is going to be a multi-episode build. I think today we're going to focus on getting the villagers, uh, the villager breeder fully set up. And then we'll go from there. Uh, I think yeah and that way only baby villagers can come through okay, I'm just gonna pop this out the side real quick and honestly at this point I could start getting the villagers in but I'm gonna hold off for a moment let's see because they're gonna have to go So we'll do this across the front. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yo. And you don't need as many beds. Um, I am considering filling this with a couple of breeding pairs and not just the initial like one pair that I was planning. But I don't know if we're going to end up needing it. I think with the initial pair you get like, if you have one pair of uh, breeding villagers, I think you get one... Uh, two sets, uh, two baby villagers every day. I could be wrong on that. I don't know 100%. That's why I'm saying I think. Uh, that guy there. That guy there. There. And we're going to do the same in here. Uh, oh, actually. That can't go in the corner because we don't have a flat corner. So we'll just do that. Yeah, I know. I just busted my tilled ground. But it's fine. It's fine. I just want to make sure that there is plenty of light going on in here. Boom. And last piece that needs to go inside should be this. Oh. Glass. And just to add a little bit, I don't know why I tilled this. Actually, if I stand in the middle. I was still too far to one side. <laughs> it happens, though. Um, you really should run out the side here, which I'm going to do real quick. Not that really anything spawns in here, but there is a chance something could spawn and come in here. So having this all covered up will be much, uh, well, better to have than not to have, you know? but not least before we grab our villagers as I said it's a really quick start and you don't need to build them big I think that first one I actually took a design for a carrot or potato farm and just went yeah I can make this work for villagers if I'm remembering correctly because that's the one I've normally used uh, since they ch uh, honestly it's pretty much the one I've always used but I think I had found a farm design that fit with that all right, so I'm going to leave that. We are going to have to sleep before I transfer villagers. So sleep. Pick a random bed and go. Oh, 
got that. That should be everything in here, right? Really no reason. All right, let's get cards away. Not want to come down here. There we go. That jump. Um, we're going to get the villagers over here, and then we're going to start working on this bottom section so that we can get a uh, the, the split area going so that we can start working with some villagers. So I only need two. I don't need this guy because he is not a villager that I'm going to need. One thing I just noticed, I don't have enough rails. They should have some spares over here. But yeah, once we're done, I think we'll end up transferring a lot of these guys inside uh, just to kind of get them out of the way. Most of them probably won't do anything, to be honest. They'll just kind of be here. About over here. There we go. Got one. Except I didn't put... <laughs> I didn't put nothing over here. All right, he's going to go that way and then shoot out. That works for me. And... This. Can I get one going by? Here we go. have our two villagers I'm gonna lock this place back up because I may end up needing some of these villagers I don't know otherwise they're just gonna uh, join join the others on armor stands <laughs> oh he just went all the way back which is not what I wanted so let's try and beat him we'll come back for you <laughs> Let's get the other guy out of the way. Go. This is probably the easiest go I've had with working with villagers. For anybody who does work with villagers, you know how it goes. They are not the easiest to work with sometimes. And whoop. They are just. There we go. Now I'm having issues working with my keyboard. Go that way, buddy. Go on. You're gonna be free. Trust me. Freer than you were in that one by one by one by two block. Hey, look. There's a couple of friends here. Ah, oh, they've got chicken. I don't know if they had those before. Ooh, I got a head. Or if they pick these up, but I don't want them hanging around. There we go. Pretty much around this area, the only mobs that can spawn are drowned. There's gotta be a chicken around here somewhere. Eggs, one head. There we go. So these guys are in. That in. I see we have our choice villager. Guy. And that guy. And. Whoop. Your trades. Do you have anything good? Not bad. I don't have anything to trade with you right now. But yeah, so they should start trading. Uh, trading. Uh, <laughs> they should start um, working with potatoes and eventually start breeding. The potatoes are not growing up uh, right now. So we are not going to get much off the start. I'll probably throw these spare potatoes at them just so they can have them. But I just want to clean up my inventory a bit first. That'll do. Here. And I'll give them a stack and a bit of potatoes. Mr. Farmer Man. There we go. Alright, so next part is, again, really easy. I just need... Probably use blocks for this. Do that, we'll just cut all this out. So as I said, you really only need the middle, but I'm just going to do it all the way across so they don't end up getting across to the beds. Because that would just be bad. Then I'll just have villagers hanging on to the beds when they're not supposed to be there. Got that. Let's drop this guy down. And
Alright, so I th think what I want to do... Pick it from over there. Hold on, let me get up a bit. I'm thinking of just having them brought up and stored over here. No, because they'll, um... I thought I'd have more room. I forgot about the how much space the beds were going to take up. We may end up doing a second floor over the top of this and have our villager converter up here. But I am undecided on that. So let me know what you guys think for uh, good villager converter ideas in the comments down below. It'll be very, very much appreciated. Uh, I know I have an idea for a setup that I want to do. I just have no idea if it's going to work. But I think for now, I'm just going to set these guys up to drop into a chamber down here. Like a so. Man. <laughs> there we go. We're in. Alright, so we can break this guy out. And this is where the baby villagers will end up moving to. So we'll do the same thing quickly over here. Hey, look, we, are, we already got one? I'm going to be honest, I did not expect it to happen that fast. In my test world, it took forever for them to get started. Uh, dropping in baby villagers. No, you have to come down here, sir. Get in there. Thank you. <laughs> Glad he listened. Then I don't have to worry about it. Alright. Get this side filled. And this is the middle, so we'll have to remember that. Because I need to put water right there. Put... Yeah, we'll just put the signs here. As I said, once we decide... Uh, once I decide on the... Uh, situation up top what we're going to do with that we will end up changing a little bit of how this goes out <laughs> but for now we don't really need to all, right. all I have to do is go like that so as I said it's, it, it's not exact but it is pretty close to a 50-50 split and this should work. as you can see they bred a villager came in plop and then every once in a while, oh uh, well, I was going to say every once in a while we'll come in and move them. But once we get to uh, deciding how we're going to do the changeover, I think it'll be good. One of the things I need before the changeover is more apples. Uh, I have gold. I have a good amount of gold. A decent amount of gold. Not a good amount, but an okay amount. And I need, uh, what's a splash potions of weakness. Which I don't actually have a village breeder, uh, not a, a, a potion farm set up yet. So, I'll probably devote a bit of time. You know what? Let me, uh, let me do that now. Let me take a look. I'm going to see what I need to make a potion of, a splash potion of weakness. Because it has been a while since I have played around with potions at all. So, give me a, uh, a moment and I will bring us right back. Okay, I think I got everything together. So, I'm going to turn these into awkward potions real quick. And then I think, yep, fermented spider eye is a uh, brown mushroom, sugar, and a spider eye. Uh, I have, uh, what's it, another stack of spider eyes, I know that. And then uh, brown mushrooms I'll have plenty of because I collect up the brown mushroom blocks a lot when I'm farming the uh, stems because I use them in this setup here, right there. So I always end up, I have actually like seven or eight stacks I think over at the uh, the mushroom farming facility which is good so we need those and then I need to swing back downstairs lots of gunpowder I am very happy about that let's grab some gunpowder and am I collecting I think I'm just kicking the spider eyes into here yeah there's 50 spider eyes and sugar oh wow so I do need to get that witch farm up and going I do have a um, Witch hut, not far away. Uh, 
this one. That's what you put in next. One. Planted spider eye in a bottle of water. Oh, it's a water bottle, not an awkward potion. <laughs> I did not know that. Here, we're just going to... Uh... I thought you had to use an awkward potion for it. It seems to be one of the few you don't. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Now it's working. And But yeah, we do have Witch Hut not far away. One of the reasons I wanted to uh, live in a swamp. Right here. Do have that there. I did start marking it out for a witch farm at one point, And I just honestly have not gotten around to it. Wow, that's a lot of mobs. <laughs> guess that's what happens when you don't light it up but yeah so we're probably again another project we'll be adding to uh the the up and coming episodes it has always been on the list but it's just not really anything i've needed to get done All right, and this should turn it into a splash potion as i said i th i should have everything to do it i'm not going to uh convert any villagers right in actually you know what do i have a golden apple uh, nope, but I have apples and gold. There we go. Let's go convert some of the guys I already got. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm a dummy. I forgot to turn them into zombies first. <laughs> uh, so, yep. Yeah, well, I know that it'll cover into those five slots. <laughs> so I think that's what we'll end up doing. We'll um, probably end up, as we're converting them, hang out down here. And Honestly, it's small enough where I probably could just use these this, one of the side slots to convert them, and then once they're done, send them up. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think that'll end up working. We've got one guy here. Did we get another baby villager yet? Nope. Yeah, which is fine. Um, but as I don't know if everyone knows this, but I have talked about it in the past. My eventual goal is to have the villagers free roam inside the walls of Miraheim. So as you can see, throughout different areas, there are their workstations. So we have this guy here. Uh, I don't, but I am going to be setting up more and more around. We've got barrels, so we'll get a lot of the uh, fishermen. And where did you come from? No, bad. Where did you come from? But yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have more of these little huts here, and they'll all just have different workstations in them. We'll have the blacksmith over here, which will have a couple other workstations for the toolsmiths, the weaponsmiths, and just kind of items along there, just so they can kind of mosey around town and just add a little bit more life to it, if that makes sense. That's why I have the armor stands, to make the place look a little more lived. But I don't want to keep them uh, cooped up like this all the time. You know, I do plan on building like a wizard's tower over here. So we'll put the potion, bur uh, the potion stands in there. So the clerics will go inside there and so on and so forth. But because I'm a dummy and tried to convert those villagers without having a zombie for them. I think that's something we're going to have to do. In oh, I could have just captured that baby villager. <laughs> There's two back to back derps, guys. But hey, it happens. But I think that is a good amount done for this episode. I think next episode we'll work on setting up the converter, uh, which should be fun. It is going to be a temporary, it's going to temporarily use potions. I kind of want to have it automated uh, using, if we get uh, the correct Fletchers, we can get uh, Arrow of Weakness. Uh, it's pretty rare. I think there's 16 different potion effect arrows and you don't always get a potion effect arrow so like you see here once they hit master there's a chance of that or they get no it just yeah so it's a uh, crossbow or arrow so I have leaping and slowness 
But I think once we, if we grind out the first villager I want to try and get is a Fletcher with uh, an arrow of weakness. Because I think that'll save me a ton. I won't have to make all of the arrow, uh, the splash potions. So I think it'll just be better. I also don't run the risk of hitting things I don't plan on hitting. As I said, I'm working on design for that right now, and we will be playing with that in the near future. Did I just see a second villager? Probably not. But yeah, <laughs> enough of the ramblings. I, uh, as I said, think this is a good place to wrap it up. I do want to thank you for stopping in. I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is my defense. I hope to see you again soon.